A terrifying new planet with oceans of lava was just discovered. If you think that life on Earth during a pandemic is difficult, just try to picture what it would be like to live on a lava planet that is constantly being pounded by terrible weather, with boulders falling from the sky and wind speeds of a thousand miles per hour. Space is always interesting, and with more discoveries, every day space is getting more and more interesting. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you never miss a journey with us. Now, let's get to the video. Planets that have orbits that bring them into closer proximity to their stars have a natural tendency to have temperatures that are significantly higher than those of planets that are located further out, such as Mercury and Venus in our solar system. Mercury is the planet that is closest to our Sun. However, in some other solar systems, there are planets that orbit their stars even closer than Mercury does. There are several of these extreme worlds that are known as lava planets, and scientists believe that at least some of their surfaces are covered in magma oceans. K2141b was found in 2018, and although it is only 1.5 times the radius of Earth, it is nevertheless considered to be a very strange world. On November 3rd, researchers from McGill University, York University, and the Indian Institute of Science Education revealed that one of these planets, which they refer to as K2-141b, is much more peculiar than previously thought. It is a world that is freezing on one side and scorching hot on the other, with a magma ocean that is approximately 100 kilometers deep, rain that is made of rock that vanishes and then induces a regular cycle similar to the water cycle on Earth, and supersonic winds that exceed 5,000 kilometers per hour. Crazy! The conclusions are supported by information obtained by the Kepler Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope, both of which are operated by NASA. The researchers outline the circumstances that prevail on the planet known as K2-141b, which is situated approximately 210 light-years away from Earth. It has an orbit that is incredibly close to its star, which is only a little more diminutive than our Sun. This lava planet completes one revolution in approximately six or seven hours, and as it hurtles through space, it comes dangerously close to brushing the surface of its parent star. Mercury, on the other hand, which is the planet in our solar system that is situated the closest to the Sun, completes one orbit every 87 days. The primary author of the study, a doctoral student at York University in Toronto named Tu Gong Wen, stated that about half the Earth is molten magma, the atmosphere that was produced when the rocks were vaporized spread across the entire planet. According to what he explained, the vaporized silicon dioxide, also known as quartz, creates clouds which then shower or snow down onto the molten surface below. Wynn noted that astronomers measure the difference in the amount of light that a star emits when a planet is in front of it in its orbit versus when the planet is behind it in its orbit in order to find exoplanets. An exoplanet is a planet that circles a star other than the Sun. While viewed from Earth using a telescope, the star appears to be less bright when the planet is in front of it. This is because the planet partially obscures the view of the star from Earth. Through the use of this technology, researchers have found thousands of worlds outside the reach of our own solar system. However, only a small fraction of them have such molten surfaces, which are the primary cause of the drastic shifts in both climate and the structure of a planet. Wynn found out that astronomers have only observed a small number of lava planets by reading the available literature on the subject. According to the calculations done by Wen, the extrasolar planet K2-141b has winds that reach speeds of approximately 5,000 km per hour, and the depth of its magma ocean is predicted to be approximately 140 km. On one side of the world, the unusual winds are extremely prevalent, whereas they are completely non-existent on the other. It is distinct in a number of other respects as well. Because of the way the planet orbits its star, it constantly shows the same side to the star, 
This is analogous to how one side of the moon always faces the Earth. On K2-141b, almost two-thirds of the planet is always bathed in sunlight, a phenomenon that does not occur on our home planet. The researchers arrived at this conclusion by doing an analysis of the telescopic data to determine the illumination patterns of the planet. So how exactly does this influence the weather on the planet? Because K2-141b is tidally locked in this manner, the temperature on the day side and the temperature on the night side are extremely different from one another. The temperature on K2-141b's sunny side is estimated to be around 3000 degrees Celsius, making it a very uncomfortable place to be. This hot side has an atmosphere composed of quartz, which is another name for the chemical compound silicon dioxide. About two-thirds of the world is illuminated at any given time as a result of the proximity of K2-141b's orbit to its star, which is so bright that it casts a blinding glare. Because one-third of the world is covered in darkness, the average surface temperature is a chilly minus 200 degrees Celsius. It is quite unusual for a planet in our solar system to have a split of two-thirds light and one-third darkness. On planets like Earth and Jupiter, for example, the Sun always illuminates exactly half of the surface of the planet at any given moment. It's a world that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in any way, according to Nicholas Cohen, a co-author of the study and an associate professor in the Department of Physics and Earth and Planetary Science at McGill University in Montreal. There is nothing else in our solar system comparable to it. According to Cohen, lava planets are extremely uncommon, and only one in every thousand stars has the potential to house one. But taking into account the vastness of the universe, there could be billions of worlds composed entirely of lava. Learning about the conditions that prevail on such an exotic planet during its formation when it, like Earth, was covered in molten lava many billions of years ago, could be beneficial to the scientific community and help them understand a version of the conditions that prevailed on Earth during its own formation. According to Cohen, taking a closer look at the lava planet could provide insight into how it, as well as Earth, came into being. It's a bizarre, naked, rocky core of what used to be a bigger planet, he added. It's a planet that used to be much bigger. According to Jonathan Fortney, a professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who specializes in lava planets, lava planets have certainly captivated people's attention, and they are uncommon, but the very genuine class of planets. This statement was made in an email. In contrast to planets like Earth, the stuff that composes this planet's atmosphere is exactly the same substance that composes the crust, the researcher says. Fortney compared K2-141b and other lava planets to Pluto, which is abundant in nitrogen in the form of ice in its crust and in gas in its atmosphere. K2-141b and other lava planets are also similar to Pluto. He explained in an email that planets like this open up the prospect of using the atmosphere, which is always easier to study, to learn something about the composition of the crust, which is much more difficult to investigate. Both Wynn and Cohen stated that they are looking forward to continuing their research on the lava planet, which will soon be able to be observed with the next generation instruments of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which launched in 2022. They will be able to capture spectrographs of the planet with a high resolution thanks to the new space telescope, which will also help them better understand the composition of the planet's interior, ocean, and atmosphere. In our solar system, lava worlds like K2-141b have never been discovered. Even Mercury isn't in the right position to have magma oceans on its surface since it's too far from the sun. The lava flows from volcanoes on Earth and Jupiter's moon Io can give an idea of what it's like, but it's still not the same as having much of, or most of, a planet's entire surface literally melt to create magma oceans. This only happens on planets like Venus and Jupiter's moon Io. Molten worlds such as K2-141b 
have the potential to provide useful insights into the formation and development of young, newborn, rocky planets before these planets have cooled down sufficiently to become rocky worlds. Extreme conditions prevail on the lava planet K2141b, which features a magma ocean, an atmosphere composed of rock vapor, and supersonic winds. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Learning about space always feels like using a magnifying glass to search a field, and there's always something interesting you might find. So do make sure that you are subscribed to make sure that we are always connected. Thank you for watching.